Gordon Ramsay is the most popular thing on Twitch right now. And I'm being dead serious about that. Huge MasterChef watch parties have become the norm, but has gotten the world's biggest streaming personalities arguing about the legality of the latest streaming meta. So are we headed for another DMCA catastrophe? All right, all before we get into the video, I gotta remind you, as always, to the like button, the subscribe button, and to ring the notification bell. If you don't, I actually don't have a threat for you this week. Just do it. Do it. So how did we get to the point where Twitch's latest controversy includes XQC, Ludwig, and Gordon Ramsay? Well, those first two haven't been seeing eye to eye when it comes to Twitch's latest streaming meta, like, like at all. But before we get into that, let's talk about what the meta actually is watching cooking shows. In recent years, react style content and watch parties have been big on Twitch. It used to be a way for them to fill in a content gap or to do something while they're waiting to get into a game. Well, for some streamers, it's gotten to the point where they'll just go weeks doing that, like just watching and reacting, with XQC being one of the king react Andes. For me. It's a no. It's a no. Yeah! Shut the f up. I appreciate that shot. Thank you. Jesus, okay. And you didn't. I need six pancakes. Got pancakes coming up, Ebony. Good job. Y'all doing a good job. Yes, chef. That's a team leader right there. When you two let him know so his pancakes can stay hot. And yes, right now, Master Chef featuring our favorite loud man, Gordon Ramsay, is the most popular show to watch on Twitch. Seriously, over the last few months, XQC has been peaking at like over 100,000 viewers just watching Gordon Ramsay. And that makes sense. A lot of Gordon Ramsay's shows are free and on YouTube, and he's mega popular. Personally, I am partial to Hell's Kitchen, but to each their own. Where's the lamb sauce? Come on, man. I just need a this the lamb Where's sauce? the lamb That's sauce? The lamb sauce. Now the big questions are, one, how did we get here? And two, how did our boy Gordon lead to controversy? It looks like Trainwreck started to do this a while back, about two years ago. And from there, it grew in popularity. More streamers jumped onto the MasterChef bandwagon and viewers ate it up. But just because it's become popular doesn't mean everyone is super gung-ho about it. Ludwig, who recently moved his stream from Twitch to YouTube, put out a video called React Streamers Have Gone Too Far, where he talked about his feelings that people are walking on thin ice, legally speaking. I think this is a, a problem that's gonna bite not just the people who are doing this is asses, but it's gonna bite everyone's ass on Twitch if people don't chill a little bit. Cause like Twitch is the wild, wild west where there is basically no live content ID system. Whatever you're doing live usually has to be manually reviewed and then stopped if it's copywritten or even if it's against terms of service. And Twitch will never proactively take down something that is copywritten unless they are told by the copyright holder. So as long as you watch it live and delete the VOD, usually you're fine to like listen to in Taylor Swift's new album or watch Home Alone. Like you could probably get away with it. But a lot of the people who are watching straight up movies and TV shows on Twitch aren't even deleting the VOD. They're getting a little too complacent. They're getting a little too risky. And I think the outcome isn't just these people getting fucking slaps on the wrist. It could be way, way more catastrophic. Like the guy on YouTube who got 150 videos removed because they had Dragon Ball in the title or in the content. And that could happen. Now, all this isn't a new phenomenon, but Ludwig thinks we have gotten to a point where it is dangerous for streamers. And he would know considering that he got recently hit with two DMCA strikes in his YouTube streaming career so far. In the video, Ludwig names XQC, Myth, and Disguised Toast as some of the streamers who are at the forefront of the trend. Never one to shy away from things. XQC was quick to react to Ludwig. Because the biggest creator, XQC, the guys, guys, don't try, guys, don't try, guys, this is, this is my critique. I think he's just mauled, he's just mauled, because he swapped car, and that car ran out of gas real fucking fast, dude. Did motherfucker, motherfucker said, not in this car, and got banned three times in the span of three days, okay? Ro guys, guys, this is a very rookie move. This is a very rookie take from, uh, from Ludwig. Uh, nothing course correct, okay? Here, here on the internet, especially with anonymity, and especially uh, on Twitch, Things explode. We do not correct. We explode. We've known this for the longest time. Okay. We've known this. We've known this since the beginning. 
But Ludwig isn't alone in his opinion. Shroud is another streamer who is worried what might happen if the MasterChef meta continues to toe the line of legality. No, I, I actually am worried about that. I'm worried about people that do watch that and get too comfortable because it, it is a matter of time for sure. Eventually the strikes will happen. You're not supposed to be able to do that. So we have some people concerned, some people who are just playing it down, and then some people like Soda pop in. He just kind of wants to watch the world burn. They're watching TV shows, man. I gotta compete with that. It's, it's I don't even know what's gonna happen. I hope, I truly mean this. I really do mean this. I hope all of them get DMCA'd and get f***ed. I want that to happen. I really do. I want YouTube itself. You can't even watch YouTube videos on stream. Outside of, I don't know, like this game trailer, for example. I actually do want that. Can't even watch Daily Dose. That'd be great. I would love to see, now that would probably decimate Twitch and everyone, including me, would lose views overall. But I do want to see the world burn. The next obvious question is, is this something streamers and their fans should be worried about? Well, the closest comparison we have to all of this are the music DMCA takedowns of 2020, or as I like to call it, the DMCA doomsday. Basically, the music industry got real mad about copyrighted music being played on stream and went to town with claims. As PC Gamer put it, in 2020, the music industry attacked Twitch in a letter claiming it, quote, continues to turn a blind eye to the same users violating the law while pocketing the proceeds of massive unlicensed uses of recorded music. After largely ignoring Twitch for years, the music industry started sending thousands of DMCA takedowns for copyright violations. So Twitch reacted dramatically. In October, it forced streamers to delete thousands of old VODs with no good tools to determine which files were problematic. As of late, it seems like Twitch and the NMPA have come to an agreement, which is nice. According to Twitch, the agreement basically comes down to a team reviewing reports and Twitch offering a warning or penalty, depending on the specific case of this streamer and their history, and moving clips and VODs that have unauthorized music. So people don't have to do this anymore. Oh. Oh. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Good. We're fine. I'm safe. As we know, these DMCA strikes can mean the end of a channel. One strike isn't the end of the world, but it could result in a ban. However, if you get three strikes or a pinfall, as I like to call it, that could spell out a lot of trouble. It doesn't mean you'll get banned forever right away, but you'll become something known as a repeat infringer. According to Twitch themselves, and buckle up for this one, quote, we will terminate an account holder's access to the Twitch service if that user is determined by Twitch to be a repeat infringer of copyrighted works on the service. Under our policy, a user will be considered a repeat infringer if they accrue three copyright strikes. Furthermore, we may in appropriate cases and at our sole discretion, limit access to the Twitch service and slash or terminate the accounts of any users who blatantly and egregiously infringe the intellectual property rights of others, whether or not repeat infringement has occurred. So obviously Twitch has the means and the history of issuing strikes under the DMCA, but so far they really only used it for music. XQC has been happily watching Master Chef while others are terrified of a copyrighted song appearing on their stream. It's like why we have stream safe playlists. Clearly these two forms of media are not being treated the same for now. What Ludwig has drawn attention to is that there are continuous high profile violations of the terms of service that these streamers agreed to. But Liz, what about fair use? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. I won't bore you with the legalese, but fair use is not a DMCA get out of jail free card. And don't take my word for it. DJ Wheat, who is the departing head of Twitch Community Productions, was pretty clear about which side of the line this all falls on for him. He said, it's absolutely not okay. Just like it has never been okay to stream music. This is just as DMCA-able as anything else. Hard to say why streamers have not been targeted, but just like music, it's probably just a matter of time. This is not an official Twitch take, just my own. Twitch hasn't officially addressed this, but make no mistake, they're gonna have to. Sooner or later, they're gonna have to clarify whether or not streamers can actually do this. At the moment, as DJ Wheat says, it's only a matter of time before Twitch draws the line in the sand. We're living in a Twitch meta where viewers watch streamers watch Gordon Ramsay on MasterChef. 
it's a weird meta, so enjoy it while it lasts because it may not be around forever. I want to be called a donut by Gordon Ramsay because he always calls people donuts. You donut. You donut. <laughs> well, yeah. An idiot sandwich. <laughs> Again. Again, you fucking donkey. <laughs> Rotten. <laughs> I cannot imagine that man screams that often and doesn't have at least like polyps.